Hello, welcome to the Steve Kalish Show. It's a pleasure to have you here. If this is the first time that you're joining us, then you're very, very welcome. Uh, what we do is we sometimes talk to people, influential people from around Yeovil, but oftentimes we talk to people from all over the world with some of the most extraordinary stories ever put to a microphone, we think. So uh, I hope if you enjoy this episode, you'll stick around for the journey. If you do enjoy the episode, then consider leaving a, a like and subscribe or leaving us a review on Spotify, following us on Spotify. That sort of thing is immeasurably helpful. It helps take us from this freezing cold studio, <laughs> this pre- freezing cold garage, uh, to uh, to wherever we want to be in the future. We want to be one of the country's biggest podcasts, not just Yeovil's biggest podcast. Today's episode, we're interviewing uh, Matt Diehouse, who is the organizer of the Yeovil Christmas Extravaganza, the eight-day festival coming to Yeovil in December. And it, it sounds incredible. I was already looking forward to it, and then Matt explained exactly what what's going to happen. Uh, he gave us full details, and it just sounds like a, a sort of Christmas heaven. So uh, I'm going to stop talking now and let you enjoy the episode. Thank you for listening, and I hope you stick around for the Steve Kalish Show sort of podcast journey. We're hopefully going to go places, but we need your help to do it. Thank you for listening. <laughs> Everyone. Welcome to the Steve Kalis Show. Uh, I'm Steve Kalis, and we've got a special guest today. I'm joined by my old school friend, Matt Diehouse. Mate, how you doing? Yeah, very well. Uh, been a very hectic time, to be fair. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like it. Yeah, it sounds like it. Yeah, so four months ago, I was a full-time job, three children and a wife, and you know, your everyday job. Yeah. And then got a bit bored of what I was doing, fell out of love for it, and decided... There's, there needs to be a change. Yeah. And you did, didn't you? So, <laughs> yeah, we decided, decided, right, I'll hand my notice in and went full hog to try and set this festival. And yeah, it's been an interesting road, should yeah. I say. Yeah, well, that's the, yeah. I mean, you were just telling me off air the, the story and some of the trials and tribulations that you've had to go through to get it done. Uh, I want to know why the Yeovil Christmas Extravaganza? Why did you think, do you want this to do it? What, what was, where did the idea come from? What was the seed of it? Uh, so the, the seed of it, to be honest, was, you know, I, I've got three children, three young children. Obviously, my childhood when I was a child was fantastic. You know what I mean? You had a bit of freedom. You were able to go out and do stuff, you know. Yeah. I was 12 years old. I was going to town, you know, with a couple of older friends that obviously would look out for me. But my parents were comfortable. They would allow me to do that. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, my children now, I can't trust them to even walk up the road. Do you know what I mean? And it's not them. It's more what's out there and, yeah. you know it's trying to bring the childhood that I had back oh, to Yeovil, nice. um, you yeah. know, and bring that light back to Yeovil that Yeovil is a safe place, it's a nice place, and there is things happening here yeah. that, you know, people can visit and it will draw people in, you know. It's Good. trying to bring that light back that it was, it's gone, do you know what I mean? It has been gone yeah. for a while, but I believe that there's a lot of stuff going on within the town and yeah. a lot of people that are trying to do the same as me and you know together eventually I think it will be the ideal place yes yes to get there there's a lot of um, organizations that are sort of steering and orienting themselves towards the sort of betterment of Yeovil and making things a little bit better which is nice but I'm the same as you my son's only three and I dread the day he's old enough to say I'm going out with my mates because the way you're like it's crazy because your brain just goes no the streets are filled with marauding paedophiles and murderers but yeah you just, you just like you get all panicky about it don't you but yeah you, but I'm totally with you I think uh, Christmas in Yeovil was nice I remember the, uh, the events that used to go on I remember the town centre was buzzing late night shopping it used to be it's like a little bit of the magic magic has been lost hasn't it and what you're trying to do is sort of is bring it back a hundred percent and I, I believe it is coming back slowly and I mean I, I attended the oval switch on this year mm-hmm. and that's the busiest I've seen in the town centre for a very long time and yeah. you know people come out it was cold it, it wasn't the perfect weather but people still attended yeah and shout out to uh, Love Yeovil and the council and it, the whole everyone that was involved with putting it on they did a really good job didn't they I was really but, surprised yes too. they did they did a very mm-hmm. good job and to be honest like I said the amount of people that did attend it filled me with confidence because I sit there and think do you know what people have come out for that and my event is very similar to what they put on yeah. so you know Oh, mate, you're spoiling us. There's like a, what's it like? A, it's like an, what, eight days, is it, or something? Is it eight Four days? eight days, yeah. It's a, like an eight-day buffet of Christmas joy and festivities. I said, well, let's, let's 
so what Walk us through the Yeovil Christmas extravaganza, okay? So what is it going to be? Like, what's your vision for it? <laughs> From the start, I, you know, <laughs> when we first, first decided to do this, it was going to be a long weekend. It, it become, the int- obviously, the interest we got from people. You know, people will, when we put it out there and we were getting approached by businesses saying, look, can we get involved? Oh, you know, what is this? It, you know, the interest was massive. That was when we were like, "Hang on a minute, we're not going to get all what we all of this into three days. It's just not going to happen." Yeah. Um, and then, you know, the longer you go, believe it or not, you got to apply for a premises license, which is not a wow. short process. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, you can't just run it on a normal, a normal situation. So, yeah. you know, we applied for that fortnight. We'll go for the full hog. Um, and yeah, Excellent. that's when we started approaching people for like. <laughs> You know, chalets and getting inspiration inspiration from other events, other Christmas events, and thinking, right, they're doing that. So, why can't Yeovil do that? Mm-hmm. And then that's when we, you know, we put the feelers out there for chalets, and you know, Amazing. can we feel them? Yeah, we can feel them. And it got yeah. bigger and bigger and bigger. And then the ice rink come about, about and it was, yeah. you know, I don't know. The more you look at it, the more you put there, the more people are going to turn up. And yeah. you know, we've tried to do it so it's. You, it's like a one big experience, you know, and you'll see when people attend that, you know, when you approach the actual entrance of the event, you, you know, you're going to go through the actual Christmas chalets, the shopping uh, and all that sort of stuff before you even hit the big stuff like the ice rink and stuff like yeah. that. Do you know what I mean? It's going to be like a big, a small winter wonderland, should I say. Excellent, and then obviously yeah, yeah. next year, bigger and better. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it now, do you know what I mean? It's mm-hmm. been a headache for a long time. And I now, bet it has, yeah. And now yeah. I'm just sitting there thinking, <laughs> yeah, is it, it's the enjoyable time now, do you know what I mean? It's just around the corner. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. are, you feeling, are you nervous? Or how are you feeling about it? Because like, obviously now you've like you put all the chess pieces into place and now it's like the execution. Now you've got to be there on a day and you know, how, how do you feel about that? Very, very nervous. Yeah, um, <laughs> you know, like I said, the, the, the interest in the, the way that the, you know, it's a free event. So, you know, people can turn up, it's free. They can enjoy the experience without spending a penny. Do you know what I mean? They're, they're mm-hmm. coming, they can come up and just walk around. They can just yeah. experience that Christmas feel. Um, but counting, like I sit and count the, count the tickets daily. I sit yeah. there and see how many are coming in. And it's phenomenal, absolutely mm-hmm. phenomenal. You know, we are very, very, very close to selling out over the weekend. Yeah. Which, you know, I didn't, didn't even see that coming. Do you know what I mean? I yeah. thought, you know, we'll get a few up there, but nowhere near what yeah. has come through yeah that's amazing so let's give people like the um the specifics so they you know they will give them all the information right here in one place so that we can either put it in as a clip or they can just get go ah, okay that's what i need to do so to go to the oval christmas extravaganza on the 15th to 22nd december do they do you need um tickets to go like the free tickets or whatever or how yeah do so um part of our conditions um with the event is that Putting on a free event, um, as an organiser, you don't have control over those numbers. Uh, and, I see. You know, they, you know, obviously authorities don't like that. They like to know what is what. Sure. Um, so we've put on the system that if you can go to www.yeovilfestivals.com mm-hmm. um, and on there is, there's a booking system, uh, you, you know, you book your ticket, it's free. It doesn't right. cost you anything, sure. but that gives us an indication of who is going to arrive. Mm-hmm. Um, at the same time, you can actually pre-book your ice rink tickets. That's all put into a time schedule. Uh, yeah. um, you know, and if you've got little ones, you know, there is skating aids and stuff like that. Right, that right, enables, so. you know, if they're young enough to skate but need a little bit of balance, they've got the hold on and stand up yeah, ones. Yeah, that's cool. If yeah. there's smaller children that can't walk, we've got like little seals that you can sit them on and actually push them around. <laughs> oh, no so, way. Um, yeah. You know, we've tried to cover all aspects. Um, so yeah, you, you book your ticket. Um, that sends obviously a confirmation email. So when you come up, you basically show your booking reference number. Mm-hmm. We pump that into our system and that checks you in. You can come and go as you please. You oh, know what I mean? Okay. So that ticket isn't just a certain time. It has been a bit complicated for people because when you get the confirmation email, it's got 10, 10 a.m. route on it. That's just the opening time. Right, right. But see. you can come and go as you please all day long with that ah, ticket. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, so that you basically do need a ticket at mm-hmm. the gate. Um, makes total sense, yeah. I suppose for safety and security reasons, it, yeah, you're going to be overwhelmed and be over capacity and it becomes dangerous then, doesn't it, I suppose? Well, it helps with the, you know, helps with all aspects as well because obviously it gives, you know, when you book your ticket, it asks for your name, it asks for your address and stuff like that. But it helps for if there was, you know, an implication at the event or an incident, 
we've already got those details of that person that we can, you know, we can pass that over to medical and stuff like that. It, yeah, sort of, yeah. There's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that it does help towards. Yeah. So, you know, I do, I'm grateful that, you know, they said that we had to put the system in place because it has helped massively, yeah, that's to be good. fair. And so once you, so once I've got my ticket, I, uh, so I go online, yobelfestivals.com, yobelfestivals.com, yeah. I get my ticket, uh, I come with my family, I come down to uh, the showground, is that what you're that's doing? That's correct, showground. Show and, uh, and then what can I expect once I'm there? Like, so what, what's the, uh, where, where am I going first? Where should I go? So when you arrive, it is going to be very much, you know, we've, we've planned it, I would like to say very well, um, that you know, you're not turning up and going, oh, I'm hit by all these lights and oh, where do I go? What do I do? So mm -hmm. we've sort of done it as a, not a one-way system, but a sort of more of a diverge, a sort of diverting people towards the chalets themselves. So obviously we, we've utilised the showground so that everybody stays on the actual road itself that's in Good, there. Yeah. Um, yeah. One, that way, you know, people are going home covered in mud if it's wet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So we've utilised the road. You'll follow the road round. You'll go through, obviously, the chalets themselves, which you've, you know, th that's all individual stalls, local yeah. stalls. There's, th there's local shops come in um, that, you know, if they haven't got the product that you're looking for, you can, you know, you can arrange with them to actually pick that up in town. Wow. Um, you know, so it's fantastic. We've got yeah. local businesses involved. Um, and then obviously you'll go for a catering court, which has got obviously all the catering wow. in. Um, and obviously you can then take that cake, you know, if you've got some food or whatever, you can go and sit down. There's picnic tables. Um, you sit down and eat your food and whatnot. Then obviously you're then diverted through the indoor market. That's got like, yeah, the smaller stalls, the smaller businesses, you know, they've yeah. got the small tables, stalls and stuff like wow. that. So you go through there and then you're in, <laughs> basically you come out the other side of that, you're in the, the big ring as such. Yeah. And in that ring, you've got, you know, your ice rink, Santa's Grotto, you've got the main bar, the stage, um, UV mini golf. You've got all of it to, to entertain yourselves. Again, full of picnic tables again, so you can sit down as a family or whatever, you know. Yeah. Um, and then obviously Saturday night, we've got the fireworks. They're going to go off about seven, up past seven-ish. Mm -hmm. um, nice big display, you know. There's a lot going on. Wow. We've, got, we've you know, got a local company, Paramount Prizes, that, you know, they're, they're attending the event. Mm -hmm. um, got I like them boys. They're, 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 uh, I've always, I've watched what they've been doing over the last few months and thought they're really clever, really good uh, pair of fellas, aren't they, those Paramount yeah, Prizes? They're boys. doing very, very well for themselves, you know what I mean? And, yeah. uh, you know, the it's great that they've come on board. They've come on board. They're going to do a nice little live. They're actually doing a live draw at the event. Wow, so it's cool. Going to be yeah. co quite a cool event. Um, yeah, it's wicked. You know, you never know. It could be someone driving away with a brand new car up there on Saturday <laughs> yeah. night. You never know. Yeah. You know, um, but you've got that. Um, what else have we got going on up there? It's, Mate, it's, it sounds it's, like you. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just sort of sport for choice, aren't you? So, so I think you. That's it. Just get your tickets. If you're listening to this, if you're watching this, go and get your tickets for the for the Oval Christmas Extravaganza because it's uh, it's also very rare. When the hell do we get anything like this usually in Oval? I mean, because I've been we tried to bring back the uh, the carnival a couple of years ago, and it was just it was a nightmare from start. I actually ended up losing a sort of power struggle to a couple of old ladies, and that's why it fell apart. And <laughs> it was like I sort of got Game of Thrones by a couple of old ladies, and the carnival never sort of happened. <laughs> and every year someone tries to bring it back, and Pete, there's definitely a uh, a need and a desire for something like this, and you're sort of giving it to them and more. I'm really impressed with what you're doing there, mate. I think it's great. Yeah, so the, the whole plan of it is to be an annual event, you know what I mean? It's not a one time thing, you know, yeah. all touch, touch wood, you know, next, it all goes well, all successful. Next year we come back bigger and better, and, yeah. you know, more bands. That's another thing. We've got live bands coming in, all local live bands, Velvet Thunder, a well known band in Yeovil, so they're there, giving yeah. us a two hour performance. Um, we've got, uh, Another local lady, uh, Teresa Rodriguez. She's more of a choir singer sort of thing. She's fantastic. Mm -hmm. um, and we've got local dance schools, B Music, Kerry Hill Dance School. Mm -hmm. They're coming up, you know, and they're performing for us, putting on like dance performances. And, yeah. you know, we've got a lot going on. And then Sunday, we've got and a magician who's coming from London. And he's, he, right. he's, ranked, <laughs> he's ranked, ranked eighth in the world. Whoa. You know, so, you know, yeah. We've gone for as much as we can, you You've know. What I mean, in, this you? year, <laughs> de de definitely up this year. But I think, you know, it's, it's one of them. Someone said to me the other day, "You're doing all this. What are you going to do 
bigger next year? What's going to be bigger? Well, how can you go bigger? Yeah. Uh, you want to rank number seven magician in the world next exactly year? Exactly <laughs> that. <laughs> One of the top five. So. <laughs> but oh, there's amazing. a lot going on, and we got, um, you know. And trying to do certain things like on each day, so there's one particular thing that's only going to be there for one day, you know. So people are going to say, Oh, they're only here for one day, we'll go up for that specific reason. And yeah. you know, on the Monday, um, the 17th, I think it, it, yeah, 17th, mm -hmm. that, you know, we've got um, a local owl company coming, they you know, they, they breed owls, they and they got they show these owls oh, and stuff amazing. like that. So yeah. you know, you can hold Wicked. the owl, have your photo taken with them. Yeah. You know. Nice. You know, we've been very, very picky, should I say, with the stuff we have done. Catering yeah, yeah. units. We've got a couple of catering units that are coming from miles away. I mean yeah. like miles. Um but they've got that Christmas feel to them. They've got big Santas on the top, you, you know. Wow. And, you know, they are like Christmas chalet catering unit so yeah you know it's gonna be special and I, do, yeah. I think it will pull off this year and i'm i'm really looking forward to it and to be fair being unsuccessful wasn't in my nature do you know what i mean i'll, yeah, I'll keep go. going until i am successful and you know a, f a few years ago i went through a very bad patch in my life that i was in a very dark place got diagnosed with ptsd and i thought oh man that's it life's over mm -hmm. but i got Great help from a company that are fantastic. I'd, you know, I'd recommend them to anyone. P uh, PTSD Resolutions, uh, mm -hmm. fantastic company. Um, they pulled me through, you know, the darkest part of my li like life, um, and I've got them to thank for where I am now. Because you know, when I do get knocked down, I think back to what I went through and what they've taught me and the sure. techniques that I was taught. You know that positivity it gets me through day to day every day that you know Good. i'll have a bad day but i'll sit there and think do you know what i mean take a positive from it and go yeah. on to the next day and I, it, it, it works for me and i wouldn't be where i am today if it wasn't for them to be honest great and you've managed to turn all that into a into a sort of gift for everybody else so exactly so. that and uh, you know yeah. and everyone sits and fails you know people will fail at the first time and they give up Mm -hmm. And I like to think that people will look at this and go, do you know what? He's got no experience in this industry, but he's gone from a normal full-time job to this and he's been successful. So why can't I do that? Yeah, yeah, and, nice. you know, hopefully people will follow my footsteps and do that. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, yeah, I, I, I wish you all the best with it. I think it's a great idea. And I think and uh, I, I think you're going to pull it off. I think it's going to be amazing. And I think people are, uh, are going to love it. And I think you're, um, yeah, next year. Like, I'm, I'm excited to see what you do next year. How do you level up? That's a lot of stuff. And you've got a lot of stuff going on for, uh, yeah. So yeah, definitely. We've got a lot are. of plans in place. Obviously, there is plans in the background going on for next year now. Because, you sure. know, come January... I, I'll have a full year to actually plan this. Obviously, I've pulled this event off in four months, this one. Yeah, yeah, that's the other thing. That's impressive in itself, isn't it? That's, uh, <laughs> exactly yeah, that's crazy. That. It's taken, you know, I've done all this in four months, and you look back, and people are going, you're mad, you're mm. mad. And I'm like, you only live once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But no, I'll have a full year next year to actually organise it and go bigger and better, do you know what I mean? And bigger ice rink, bigger yeah. grotto, more lights. Yeah, yeah, amazing. <laughs> it's good to see you again, by the way, mate. It's yeah. been a really long time. It's, it's been, been a very long time. Do you know yeah. what? I was actually sat there the other day and I thought, do you know what? I remember the day when years ago, it was back at Grass Roll, and you wow. come to my house mm -hmm. and my mum cooked just like smiling faces, chips and beans. That's and right. I, yeah, yeah. I was like, this is mad. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. It shows how long we've actually have known each other. It's yeah. mad. Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, it's, it's crazy, isn't it? That's why there's, I've been watching what you've been doing with uh, with one eye on going, yes, come on, come on, good man, good get it, good get it, good get it. Yeah, so, uh, yeah I'm chuffed, man. I'm, thank I'm you, happy I appreciate for you. it. Um, so, hey, thanks for coming on the Steve Cayley Show. I really yeah, appreciate it. Thank you for having us. <laughs> Hi everyone!